Hey guys, welcome to episode number three of Wind Waker HD 100% playthrough, whatever you want to call it. I know we said last episode we were about to go sailing, but I lied. Today we are going to start off with some... Yeah, this guy is annoying, don't talk to him. We are going to start off with a little side quest today already. And that is these kids up here. The killer bees. Basically, they're a bunch of like fucking brats. No one likes them. Um, but we get some rewards for uh, playing hide and seek with them. So this is our teacher, Miss Mary, or Marie, whatever her freaking name is. We need to talk. And then she's crying about these kids. Sure. Basically, she has no authority. She's not dominant. She lets these kids run over her. Yeah. Yo, bud, you got a problem with us killer bees? Huh, do ya? Don't tell me it's an annoying hag of a teacher again, bud, is it? You came here to give us a talk in the Miss Marie. Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be smoking dope, I mean, been tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang. Yeah, these guys, these kids, these are like five-year-olds in Call of Duty, man. They think they're everything, they think of their shit, but they're annoying. I guess like hide and seek proves I'm dominant or something, I don't know. First kid is on this tree. Just don't let this weird guy talk to you. No, shut up, dude. I don't care what you have to say. Okay, that's the first one. Second one is right over here. Oh yeah, the hiding spots are the same each time, so if you're watching this, it's the same spots. They don't change or anything. This one's usually pretty easy to catch. Got her. And the last two are over here. This guy looks freaking weird. Who wears overalls still? Down below. Shut up, kid. So yeah, these kids are really annoying. The last one behind the oh shit. The bomb shop right here. He doesn't even see it coming. Yo ho! No, get off. Get back here, scrub. No, what? We don't care what you gotta say. We don't care. Got him. You're lame. So that's it, pretty easy. Maybe maybe it's time we chilled out. And we got our second piece of heart. Sweet.
and we have to apologize for them. That's ridiculous, but we gotta do it. We need to talk again. You did it? So yeah, um, yeah, we can't tell anybody. So yeah, that's it for that. There's one more thing we gotta do. So our birthday is coming up and um, she likes Joy Pendants. Joy Pendants is a game, not item in the game that um, it's like the butterfly necklaces. So oh, luckily I know where to get one. I actually did not know this until like very recently. Out of all these times I played this game, if you roll into this tree right here, there's a Joy Pendant. I never knew that for like a long time. <laughs> Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up in the tree. We thought you might find it. So I guess they're embarrassed to give like a present to the teacher. Oh, here's Tingle Bottles down here, by the way. Let's see what the world has to say to us. Need AB Reapies? What is it? Reapies? <laughs> they 80 Reapies? <laughs> Aloha, Link. So yeah, there's some funny tingle bottles and there's some pretty stupid one. Like that guy, I'm assuming he meant rubies, but I don't know. Okay, we're going to talk to this teacher one more time. Oh, I missed. Bam. My oh dear, that's a joy pendant. Well, to tell you the truth, I'd actually like 20 of them. Yeah, I don't have 20 of them, so I don't know what you want me to tell you. Okay, so... Basically, we gotta get 20 of them. Um, we will do it, because actually this leads to an important quest, like, late, late in the game. So, we did all this stuff for a reason, we just didn't play hide and seek for no reason. And, uh, that's it for now. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. I don't want to talk to you. That's it for now. Okay, now let's, uh, set sail. So, yeah, you hit A sail instead of actually having a weapon. Oh, I missed the tingle bottle. No. No. Got it. Okay, so this is the great sea. Literally tons of things to do. I'm super excited for this playthrough. So how's everyone's day doing today? Mine's doing pretty good so far. I guess we can check this tingle bottle, huh? Ooh, scary. Ooh, the ghost ship. That's pretty cool. So if you go through these little things, you get some rubies. This is usually the tactic speedrunners do. But yeah, anyways, please leave some feedback on the series. Um, 
let me know what's good or what's bad about it. Like I said, this, I'm really not doing a ton of editing. I just kind of like sit down, hit record, play the game, and don't hit record because, you know, it's kind of a relaxing game. But if you want to see like me edit out stuff, like the boring stuff, let me know. But I'm pretty satisfied with the series so far. And I also tried um, Battlefield 1 for the first time today. Uh, you probably won't see that video until a couple more weeks. Because I got a pretty nice backlog. I played it with Makai, so... <sighs> Battlefield is a crazy game. It's really fun, but it's really hard. But yeah, you'll see my first game couple weeks from now it'll be posted eventually I can't say an exact date but it'll it'll be posted here we are the first uh, island of dragon roost I think that's what it's called dragon roost High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of skies, a great dragon by the name of Val Valu. You must go see this dragon and request him from the, the Dinsboro. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait a moment. The Wind Waker, the name of the game. So basically the Wind Waker is the instrument of the game, kind of like an ocarina from Ocarina of Time. Again, pretty easy stuff since we're at the beginning of the game still. Oh, I jinxed it. Very nice. I'm a boss, what can I say? Bingo! Okay, so the Wind Waker, pretty important. This thing is also on your D-pad instead. It's not an actual weapon anymore. So if we go over here, there's a Tingle Bottle. But that's not the reason why we're going over here. We're going over here. Ow. To uh, get our first song. Ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. The Wind's Requiem. This is probably the song you'll play the most in the game right here. Uh, changing the direction of the wind is actually a pretty important thing in the game. Well, yeah, that's a moody nice breeze. So we got Frogman right here. God of the winds. Oh. Yeah, this guy is pretty weird. He, he has a brother, too, named Cyclos. He, I guess he turned evil. Because he had too much power. So if you encounter any Cyclones at sea, Chattis, my brother, for me. Gotcha, I'll do that, homie. I got your bet. So, yeah, that's it. Let's, we got our first song, The Wind Waker. Or The Wind's Requiem. Now, again, I'm gonna be taking the cheaty way right here. You can see there's like all these boulders you gotta go through. Again, not really necessary. If you go in this way. Go on this rock, side hop on this, nope, side hop, nope, side hop right there, and just do a little roll, you can just do that, it skips all of that, oh shit, I meant to drop, no, oh, I meant to drop it, Bam. Enigma? 
Enigma, is that you? Oh man, it's the guy from episode one. It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay! I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. No shit, Sherlock. Now why would he ask about my sister? Like, obviously I wouldn't be on this island if I saved her. No, I don't want to meet your ch chief. Okay, I guess we're meeting the chief. Oh man, am I interrupting someone? Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Baloo's anger? Ah, you are Enigma, aren't you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. Oh, they have their own problem, cool. So I guess they have these guys, I don't know if they're bird or human or half bird or half human. They have a pet dragon, I guess he's pretty pissed off. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So, you know, as always, I gotta fix and save everyone. That may be. My son is one of the age to earn his wings, yet he's weak. In some ways, in light of the current situation, he might just give up on ever getting them. Sure, I'll give him some courage. Medley. Sure, and they, they asked me like 10 different favors. And we got the delivery bag. Really don't use this in the game to be honest. Use it like two or three times. Thank god I don't actually have to wear it though because I look like a fag. Okay, so here's the girl they were talking about, Medley. Wow, you do really have blue clothes with a picture of a crawfish on them. She lied to me. So I got the father's letter. Why does she have father's letter? And why can't she deliver it herself? Oh man, she's all trouble. So yeah, um... Oof, today I'm not really feeling too well. I got a cold. So sorry if um, I'm not really energetic or anything like that. My voice kind of hurts, but I decided to record anyway. This is what we need right here. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone. Oh, I forgot to give out the letter. Duh. So we go here. Get the letter. Give him the letter. A letter? For my father? Oh, sure. Tell me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's like, like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Oh, my nose itches actually. Ugh. This guy's whiny as fuck, dude. I don't like that. I 
I don't fuck with whiny people. Okay, so yeah, um, we're gonna go to meet Medley. I think it's this door. I think. God, this place looks dangerous. Yo, fur girl, talk, talk. Oh, man. All these people do is talk. Sure, I'll help you. Basically, we gotta throw her up here. Because she's gonna see what's wrong with the dragon. But that's probably a bad idea, but whatever. Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Boosh. You gotta throw it when the wind's flying. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, I'll be fine. What is this? She threw me down a bottle? We got a bottle. Sweet. It's basically take this bottle, super easy stuff, fill it with water. Climb up this Jones up here. Pour it on this bomb plant. Throw the bomb. Let the waters rain from the heavens. Now we can just swim over there. Pretty cool stuff. Now we gotta um, become Kobe Bryant. We gotta shoot the three. Ah, oh, first try. I wish. Ah, oh, come on, man. Damn, I suck. Sweet. And for this strat, you actually can do an MLG strat. Take a bomb, pick it up, and as soon as it's about to blow up, you jump. Oh, I did it a little bit too early. Yep. Oh, what? Damn. Don't make me a liar. Okay, third time's a charm. Ah! Oh. I'm dead. That's it. That's it. I can't do it. Whoa, I start all the way over here? Okay, um, that was pretty embarrassing. We're gonna try this again. Take the bomb. Nah. Yes, I did it! That's how you do it. MLG strats. Don't even need to blow up the second thing.
And this is our first uh, dungeon of the game, Dragon Roost Cavern. And that will be the end of episode 3. I'm trying to aim episodes between 20 and 30 minutes. No more than 30, no less than 20. Um, hopefully I nailed it. I hope to see you guys back at episode 4. We'll knock out this dungeon, become rich, famous, all that fun stuff. Deuces.